Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something new that is probably new in S4 HANA and it's, it's there was it was there in ECC6 but with S4 HANA uh, transformation there is more integration with other cloud solutions so today we are going to talk about something related with Ariba okay so what are the different tables for Ariba first of all uh, suppose I'm a layman and I don't know anything about uh, I just know Ariba name so how will I find what are the tables related with Ariba so what I can go is I go to SE 16 G this is the transaction and here what I'll do is I'll just try to find uh, I'll just execute here and here what I'll do I'll just search with uh, so let me type because it searches so you need to be a little patient Hurry. so you don't have anything transaction code right associated with Ariba let's try to find if there is any transaction code associated the tables associated with Ariba so I'll do the same Ariba. and here you can see all these are the different transaction code that is associated with Ariba so here this is the one assign Ariba network ID to company code okay so that's very important you have to assign this okay so if I go to the table and you can see it. so currently we don't have anything yeah we have some so here is the credential and there is the identity and this is the company code okay this is one very important table that you have to use there is another mapping ERP payment method to Ariba payment method okay so this if I execute let me see whether we'll have some entries there yeah we have a bunch of entries so if you see the payment method is so these are different payment methods of different country so E is ACH and this is the river so they, that will give them information okay so this is pretty nice next the next one we will try enable and our vendors for Ariba network so we just click on it and we'll execute and we'll see this is the vendor and this is the quick element so this this vendor is enabled for Ariba so that's the table name so these table names are very important now this one so I don't know credentials for Ariba network let's see we'll have some entries yeah so there is the credential you can enter the credential domain the identity file and then you have to give the reference to share id secret password and all those things okay and then you check the endpoint that one will see whether we have we don't have anything so this is basically what you have you can search this is the, these are the five tables that we have for ariba now let's do uh so another thing that we can do is since we saw if you notice the table name has ARB so probably we can do we are going to go to SE11 and we can do a little sm be smarter ARB and we'll just try to find all the transaction all the tables related with ARB and now you can see so many tables related with three so so for this this portion of the video I'll just cover this this Ariba tables uh, in another video, I'll cover the other tables. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Happy SAP learning and stay safe and stay home. Thank you and have a great day.